hi, hello, welcome to a new video. We're gonna do a week in my life as a PhD candidate. Oh my gosh, I think that's the first time I've said that in a video. Uh, my name is Maddie, I'm a fourth year PhD candidate at Montana State University in chemical engineering, and my research focuses on biofilm prevention in the International Space Station water recycle system via the use of material coatings. I always forget to give that spiel, and so I figured I would today. But as you can tell, we are in the research lab. It is going to be a very lab heavy week this week. And also on Friday is graduation. So I am a PhD candidate. I just did my comprehensive exam, which also accounted for a master's defense. So this December, I'm actually graduating with a master's, which is amazing. Uh, it's a master's en route to PhD. And so I am gonna do the graduation ceremony on Friday because I never had one for undergrad. I graduated in May of 2020. We all know it was happening then. <laughs> so I'm really excited. It's gonna be a great week. It's gonna be a very busy week. My mom comes into town on Thursday for the graduation, everything like that. So I have quite a bit of lab work to do this morning. A lot of it I won't be able to share with you at all because it's all, a lot of it, not all of it, um, has to do with using organisms and I don't film when I'm working with organisms. But I did want to go ahead and get this video started and I will check in with you later when I'm not working with organisms anymore. <laughs> Story's been told, four different times with three different endings. There was $10,000, nobody knows how they spent it. I got a doll, his name is Lou. Lou's the bluest doll that I'd ever knew. And Lou came from way down in Tennessee. Boy, I guess he figured out there was some place that he'd rather be, so he got in the van. Picked him up. Left that station with a doggy and a can of snuff. Mama's been lost in the cornfield three times this week now. Gave her a handful of volume, but she won't go to sleep now. And I don't know what else to do. She drank the whole damn gallon of vodka too. Then I woke up this morning and he was licking my chin. I said, get out of here, boy, that mouth ain't been nowhere but sin, yeah. Then it started talking and it sounded like something like well, I left home, you know, he tore my whole house up. All right, so it is 12.52. 1253-ish. Um, I am not done in the lab today. I have so much I could do in the lab today just to get set up for the week, but I'm currently in the middle of pH and carboys. So I have the pH probe right here and then the carboys on the table over there. I need them to get to the proper pH before I can start continuous flow tomorrow. So I'm gonna do like one more round of taking pHs and seeing how to adjust, if I need to adjust them. And then I also have some sampling tubes right here on the table that I need to get filled with phosphate buffered saline before sampling tomorrow. But I have an event at two. I called it like breaking up stress. Um, it's I'm, I'm putting it on for the graduate well-being or graduate wellness champions, which I am one. <laughs> But it's for my department, so it's for chemical and biological engineering grad students, and I rented out three pool tables in the sub rec center for two hours. And two hours feels a little bit long. I'm going to take my laptop and stuff because I'm not convinced people are going to come. But I also have like a bunch of LaCroix and some cookies, and I got Cracker Jacks, which is like a total throwback, but I thought it could be kind of fun. Um, yeah, so we'll see if anyone comes to that, but that's at 2, from 2 to 4, so I need to get there at like 1.50 or so. 155 just a little bit early to make sure everything's set up but I that's from two to four I don't know if I'm gonna have time to come back into the lab or not Matt's buddy who's in town visiting us this last week his flight out is tonight and I have not yet gotten an update about if I need to be the one taking him to the airport I have no idea so <laughs> I don't know if I'm gonna have time to come back into the lab after the pool thing or if I'm going to have to skid out of home to take to the airport, hang out with them, play some games, whatever. I don't know. So that is where we stand. 
I've gotten a lot done today, but it's definitely not as much as I would like to have gotten done. So that's just the way she goes, isn't it? Good morning. It's Tuesday, so day two in the week. Um, yesterday at the social, uh, only like three people came, which is a bummer, but it was all my friends, basically, so it was fun. Um, today is another busy lab day, and is my camera lens fogging? I can't tell. It's a little chilly out. I'm walking to work because I missed the bus by probably like two minutes. But anyway, um, lab day, and then at 3 p.m., I have a meeting for my internship. So I also need to finish up the work in order to have that meeting. Um, but it should only take me like 20 minutes or so to do all the work that I need to finish before that meeting. And since it's at the end of the day, I think I'll be able to do it. First thing is first in the lab, I need to pH one more carboy. One of the carboys is just like not, it's just not doing it. It's being a little bit of a pain in my tuchus with pHing. Um, so, I'll be working on that for a while, and then I need to connect the carboys and start continuous flow and sample. So, that's heavy lab stuff. And then I also need to make auger. So, it might be a longer day on campus today. Who knows? But yeah, I just wanted to check in with you on that. It has been so long since I checked in or showed you what I was up to. It is now 11 p.m., like on the dot, 12.01, um, I guess, so not on the dot. But I have sampled, gotten my reactors going a little bit more. I made auger plates. I plated all my plates. I've done more dishes and stuff like that. So those are all the plates right here that I plated um, my samples onto. These are the bottles that need to be washed from making auger. The, all the auger I made is next door. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to go upstairs and eat some food. And then I also need to work on my internship a little bit. And then I will, once I'm done with that, probably around one, come back downstairs, fill the rest of these tubes that are not filled with PBS, uh, phosphate buffered saline, and also label all the plates that I have next door so that I'm like pretty set up for the rest of the week because I am going to be sampling every day except for Friday for the next week. And my mom's going to be in town while I'm doing that, which I feel bad about, but I just I need to get sampling and data collected and stuff. So hoping to get myself as set up as possible so that I don't have to be in the lab super long while she's here. Um, but yeah, I'm going to take like an hour out of the lab, hang out at my desk, and then I'll be back down in a bit.
All right, it is the end of the day. It is almost 4.30. I wanna get home because I have a video for YouTube that I need to edit and upload. I have just been so bad about editing and uploading. I've been filming a decent bit, but you gotta do the second half of things apparently. Um, and I also wanna go to the grocery store, clean up the apartment, get ready for my mom to come into town in two days. <laughs> So I'm heading out. My meeting went really well for my internship. Um, lots of things to do, lots of questions answered, lots of questions come up, but it's all good. Uh, so that was exciting. Still waiting on all of my stuff to come through for like security training, getting my own computer, getting a new email, X, Y, Z, so that I can actually get going with the like controlled and classified information. <laughs> um, but anyway, so this is what I have done in the lab today. I have poured and labeled all of these plates, poured those ones. I made a list of additional auger that I need to make tomorrow. Um, I did not get these tubes filled because when I came down, someone was in the biosafety cabinet, so that's when I did all of the plates instead. So in the morning, I wanna do these. I need to make the auger. It's all ready to go in that bin. It just needs to have water added to it. Um, I put all of my plates into the incubator. So tomorrow I might be able to do some of the counts for it. Um, and then, yeah, tomorrow I have to sample. Tomorrow I also have an event from 7 to 9 a.m. for graduate women in science and engineering. We're going to international coffee traders for our end of the semester, like meet and greet kind of thing that we do at the beginning and end of every semester. So it's gonna be busy, 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 busy until my mom gets here and then it's still busy. <laughs> I'm a little bit stressed about it, but that's the way it's going. So I will check in with you tomorrow. Okay, good morning. It is Wednesday. It's just after 11 and I totally forgot to check in before the coffee meet and greet thing that we had this morning. Um, it was a very cold walk. <laughs> it was so cold. Started at 7, went till 9. We didn't get that many people show up. Um, we've had kind of a hard time this semester with getting um, like attendees to our events. I think it's just been like a uniquely chaotic semester for a lot of people. Comment down below if you have experienced that as well. Like, Everyone I know, this has just been a chaos semester. So uh, no worries there. We all had some lovely drinks. I had a chai, a vanilla chai latte, and then I had a London Fog because we didn't get that many people to show up so we could kind of have uh, more drinks and snacks to ourselves if we wanted. Uh, but then I came and I sampled. Here is the aftermath of that. I just took some stuff up to the autoclave room. I wasn't able to get it into the autoclave, so I'm gonna have to go back up in about 10 minutes and see if I can. Um, but I need to do some cleaning up in here and then I need to fill up these tubes that I've been talking about filling up <laughs> for the past two days. Um, but today is basically just going to be another prep day to get everything ready to go for Thursday, Saturday, and Sunday. Um, my mom is in town Saturday and Sunday and so I want to be sure to take as little time as possible in the lab so I want to be super duper prepped. And Hopefully I will have some time to do some actual writing and stuff today because I am working on a literature review paper, I am working on a proposal, and then I also have my internship that I need to be doing work for. So lots of things going on um, as is the usual. Tomorrow I have to get my mom from the airport. Well, first I have to sample, then I have to get my mom from the airport, and then I'm going to a lunch for my lab. And she is probably gonna come with me to that. And then in the afternoon evening is the College of Engineering graduation ceremony. It's the order of the engineer so I can get the, the ring. Um, and then who knows what we'll do for dinner. I think we're gonna make homemade pot pies for dinner. And then Saturday, or sorry, Friday is graduation. Lots of things happening. I also still need to like iron my robe, get my graduation cap decorated because I'm gonna decorate it. Uh, yeah, lots of things happening. So again, I think it's just gonna be me showing you some things in the lab today and maybe spending some time at my desk. Uh, not a super interesting vlog as I had kind of hoped it would be. I kind of didn't fully realize just how much work I had to do in the lab. I thought I was pretty prepped for the experiments and then <laughs> turns out I'm not. <laughs> so yeah, just wanted to give you the update.
Five minutes to scrape off my car enough to drive like plenty to drive way more than most people do it is so cold out it's technically like 20 degrees but the feels like temperature is 16 and I honestly think it feels a lot colder than that my ears are cold my toes are cold my hands are cold I was wearing gloves it's, <laughs> it's cold this morning my thighs my butt oh my gosh Whew. but as you can tell I'm in the lab I just came straight to the lab it is 8.07 and I need to sample today. I need to get some stuff in the autoclave today. I think I'm gonna do the autoclave stuff first and then I also need to go pick up my mom from the airport. I checked the arrivals board this morning and it's already saying her flight is supposed to arrive 43 minutes earlier than scheduled or 33, maybe 33 minutes earlier than scheduled. How are you able to tell that before that flight has even taken off? <laughs> I have no idea. Um, but today is going to be a lab morning. Got to go get my mom from the airport. And then I think we're going to go to the lab lunch together. My advisor and my lab are all having lunch today at Columbo's Pizza, which is right next to campus. And I'd like to go. Um, one of our lab mates just got back from Turkey. She was stuck there since January because that's how long it took for her visa to get figured out for whatever freaking reason. Um, so she just got back on Monday, so I think she's gonna be at the lunch. One of our lab mates defended her PhD about a month ago. I think, I'm hoping she's gonna be at the lunch. Um, we'll see. Uh, but it should be a good time just to like catch up with everyone and have some time together as a lab. We haven't done any lab meetings this year. We've not done a whole lot of stuff as a lab this semester, or this semester. Um, again, because it's just been a, a super chaotic semester for like everyone involved. Um, but anyway. Time to get some stuff ready for the autoclave. What I'm autoclaving are these bottles, these bottles, these flasks, and then I also need to foil and tape these reusable 96 well plates, as well as these reagent reservoirs. So I'm gonna get this all in the autoclave first thing, and then I will deal with the sampling and the plates and everything like that.
right, well, it's Friday morning. It's graduation day. Matt just dropped me off. We were stuck in this really long line of traffic. And so he dropped me off and I'm walking in the cold without a jacket to the field house. It's like 25 degrees, so it's not like that cold. Also, the braking kept making my cat move and I need to put more bobby pins on it. Um, but I have to do this weird little foldy thing because of my bangs. Yesterday was the order of the engineer. So I've got my, my ring on and yeah, can't wait to sit around for three hours.